Hey BZB Gear fans, my name is Matt and today we're going to be talking about SDI. SDI is a very, very special cable in the industry. It is probably the most prevalent cable that you're going to be see, uh, seeing run in the AV industry, other than maybe a uh, Cat5, Cat6, stuff like that. But as far as video is concerned, SDI is really the standard in the pro industry and there's a major, major reason for that. Actually, there's a few major reasons for that and we're going to go over those really quick. Uh, but we're also going to be talking about the different types of SDI. So just to start off, uh, the reason why SDI is so prevalent in the industry is because it's uh, cheaper, it's more reliable, and it's going to be more robust than something like HDMI. So let's go ahead and cover the cheaper aspect first. Um, so with HDMI, you're probably going to run into a few things. Number one, HDMI cables really, really like to break, especially on set. Uh, number two, uh, with you, when you're talking about long runs of cable, HDMI starts getting a lot more expensive than something like SDI. Um, so those are the main reasons why it's going to be cheaper. Uh, so now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the robustness and the secureness of SDI versus HDMI. Like I mentioned earlier, I've had several HDMI cables break on set, whether that's uh, with a volunteer running a camera that we have an HDMI plugged into or something like that. I've seen the, the connections break on them quite often. But with SDI, you don't have to worry about that. SDI, they're, they're toggle lock, so you just plug it into the device, you turn it, and it locks, and it's very, very, very robust. I don't think I've ever seen an SDI cable break. You can run trucks over them, all that stuff. It's not going to interrupt the signal. They're really, really, really robust. And finally, we're going to talk about the range of these cables. So with something like SDI, you can get very, very long range SDI cables. I've seen cables that are like over 300 feet. They're a pain in the butt to rewrap when they're that long, but you can do that all with one cable, no extra power, nothing like that. You can't really do that with HDMI. Typically, if you go to the store, you're gonna run into maybe 25 feet max on your uh, HDMI cables that are available there. And 50 is about the longest that you're going to get out of a reliable cable. Now, there are HDMI cables that do go longer than that, but those cables are usually going to be active cables, so they require a little bit of extra power. There's a few other things that are that go along with that. So just in general, SDI is going to be what you wanna run if you have long cable runs to think about. Um, so now that we've covered all the reasons why SDI is so prevalent, let's go ahead and talk about the types of SDI. So when you're talking about a cable that runs data, there's usually a bandwidth limit that you want to target. And so SDI cables are usually uh, denoted in Gs. I'm not really going to go into too much depth into that, but just know that you're talking 6G, 3G, 12G, and all those things. So when you're talking something like 12G SDI, what that really means is that cable will allow up to 4K at 60 Hertz. So as at BZB Gear, we have plenty of 12G SDI products that are available to be used. We also sell the cabling. So if you're in the market for something that can support up to uh, 4K, especially 4K at 60, then 12G SDI is what you're looking for. So when we're talking about 12G SDI products that we offer here at BZB Gear, we want to stick by the, um, the, the benefits that you get with 12G SDI. So not only is the cable that you're getting going to be reliable, fast, easy to use, easy to set up, all that good stuff, but so is the device that you're getting. So whether it's a capture card, a, uh, a converter, anything of that sort, we want those to be the best, most reliable devices that you can count on in your professional use. So if you're in the market for 12G SDI products, we have plenty of them here. I'm gonna be showing a few on the screen and everything, but really encourage you to drop by bzbgear.com and take a look, get in contact with us, get in contact with one of our dealers, and we hope that these products are something that you're interested in, and we will see you guys next time.